Today we've got here four mini computers that can be used as a normal computer to run boring tasks like Excel, PowerPoint, Word and so on. But we can have some fun by turning one of these into our home lab server. And we can install, for example, Proxmox or Casa OS, OPN Sense, Home Assistant, PF Sense, OpenWRT, Grafana or everything simultaneously, which is the awesome experience that we can have with our own lab now different prices different performance let's take a look at them and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oem keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper let's start with the ace magic vista v1 now this is the smallest of the group it looks like a mac mini m4 but it's all made of plastic so there's no metallic here like the mac mini at the front we have a power button two usb 3.0 10 gigabit at the back two usb 2.0 one hdmi one display port it supports up to two displays it has one gigabit ethernet it has a intel n150 with four cores 16 gigabytes of ram which are expandable to 32 512 gigs of storage upgradable but it is an m sata m.2 and not a nvme m.2 that we are used to see here on the channel so just have that in Mind. Now let's move from the Ace Magic to the Dream Quest Pro Plus, which is this one right over here. As we can see, quite bigger than the Ace Magic. Now it is all of plastic on the top and on the bottom, but the side frame is all metal. On the front we have a power button, on the side we have four USB 3.2 10 gigabits, one micro SD slot, at the back two gigabit Ethernet ports, two HDMI, one display port so it will support up to three displays and it also has a USB type C that supports video output, fast charging and data transfer. It has the same CPU as the Ace Magic which is the Intel N150 with four cores, 16 gigabytes of RAM which we can upgrade up to 32 gigs and and a 512 gig M.2 SATA SSD but it has a difference we have an extra slot here that we can fit in a M.2 NVMe SSD so if we want to have extra storage not only we can upgrade the original one but we can add a second one moving to the Shui Lark Box S it's between these two in terms of size it is with a metallic frame all around plastic on the top and plastic on the bottom it has this really cool graphics on the top cover which is intended to be a gaming device now it has a usb type c port here which on the specifications say that it's a full-fledged usb type c the cpu is the i3 1220p which supports thunderbolt 4 usb type c and that means that it will support a external GPU which I will test out on the individual review now on the specifications it doesn't say that it has Thunderbolt but it says that it has a full-fledged USB type C so having in mind that the CPU supports Thunderbolt I imagine that this one has now for example this one has but we will talk about it in just a few moments now the power adapter of this Shui Lark box is almost the same size of the the computer but if we want we can power it via USB type C with power delivering meaning that if we have a monitor with a USB type C port we just need that single cable it will power the computer it will transfer data and image as well at the front we will have here this power button it has two USB 3.2 ports two USB type C one of them the Thunderbolt 4 which I have not tested yet so I will confirm this later on the individual review but this will allow us to use an external GPU which is awesome as we have seen many devices here which will be able to upgrade the GPU performance so that we can play games we can edit videos faster we can do a lot so I will test it out and share with you here at the back we have two USB 2.0 one gigabit Ethernet two HDMI and it will support up to three displays one of them being via USB type C it has the Intel i3 1220p with 10 cores 16 gigabytes of RAM but expandable up to 64 with 512 gigs SSD built in but we can upgrade up to one terabyte now I did love the interior it's really well built with this metal 
metal shielding between all the components and it also has this plastic cover on the bottom but it has the separation from the old computer so it looks like it's a really tough machine you know those cars that are bulletproof looks like the interior of this one really really awesome and on the four of them the interior that I did prefer was this one. But the Shui U-Box also has an interesting thing, which is it doesn't need any screws to open it up. Now, I'm starting by the end, but I don't need screws to remove this one right over here. So as we have seen, it is all made of plastic. It is a nice plastic. It has this mesh right over here, which will allow us for a great cooling solution. More or less the same size of the others. At the front has this power button with USB 3.2 times 2, 10 gigabit, one USB type c4 thunderbolts and this one here will support external gpus which i will test out but on the spec sheet is clear thunderbolt 4 or usb type c4 which is the same as thunderbolt it also has a audio output right over here at the back two 2.5 gig ethernet ports one hdmi one display port it supports up to three displays one of them being with usb type c and it also has a usb 3.2 and a usb 2.0 it has the amd ryzen 5 6600 h cpu 16 gigabytes of ram expandable up to 64 512 gigs of ssd expandable up to four terabytes with two terabyte ssds individually we don't need any tools to access and upgrade we just need to remove this plastic shield here and then we have the metal plates on the middle that we just need to remove and that is it we can easily access and upgrade so which one would i choose this will depend on what we will be doing with the computer if we are talking about word excel powerpoint and so on now in terms of performance we are talking about single core performance and all of them will have more or less the same performance in terms of multi-core performance for multitasking tasks that we do then there is a big difference both the ace magic and the dream quest have the new cpu the intel quad core n150 but it is a lower end cpu compared with the intel and amd right over here so we are talking about multi-core performance double here than what we have right over here which once again if we use for productivity tasks word excel emails and browsing we won't feel any difference but if we are going to use any other tools like video editing and things like that, then we will notice a huge difference. If we are going to use this to virtualize our devices or operating systems like Proxmox and then with a lot of services, then we will need more CPU power and we will need also more RAM. And for that, these two right over here have the edge of these two right over here. So all of them are great solutions. I will leave some links down below. Depending on what we will be doing, we can either select these that will consume less power and it will be less powerful and we, you could see one of the differences which were the power adapters these here have small power adapters while these right over here have bigger power adapters because they will draw more power compared with a big computer it's nothing we are talking about probably 30 i haven't measured yet but 30 40 watts compared to 15 20 watts something like that which is the usual that we test right over here but nonetheless at the end of the year it will sum up four interesting solutions hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Werther george and as always i'll see you on the next one